Okay, well, we are here with our very special guest, Lisa Berg, who is the executive director of the Hutchinson Center for the Arts. And um, Lisa, today we are going to talk a little bit about um, the gala that's coming up. But first, we're going to talk about the We Are What We Make exhibition. We community. developed this exhibit last year. It was the first year we did it, and it was because we had. Um, an understanding that there was a lot of people that maybe don't self-identify as artists or visual artists, but there's so many people making things, doing things that are in the creative realm, and so we wanted to encourage those people to get involved with the Art Center, and so we created this We Are What We Make annual showcase exhibit. So this is open to anyone 17 or older that makes or creates anything. So that can be a birdhouse, it can be a quilt, it can be a painting, it can be a video, it can be a poem, it can be a song. Song, it can be a story. So essentially, if you make something, this is the show for you. And so it's free to enter. It's uh, up to two pieces. If they are traditional works of art, they should be ready to hang with a wire. Um, if they are uh, performative, so if it's a story that you want to recite or a poem or a song you want to sing during the opening reception, we would have an open mic kind of situation so people can perform. And so last year we had a couple people performing songs and we want to encourage more of that. So that's the idea of that. We'll have three drop-off dates and people will just drop off their work, fill out a little form. If you want to volunteer for the uh, for the event, you can. There's a couple different ways you could volunteer. You could uh, help us on drop-off date kind of intake work. You could help with installation. You could help the day of the exhibit set up, things like that. So there's opportunities for that. And again, you could contact you. Yeah. And we'll put your <laughs> contact information yeah, on the screen, too. Yeah, we always need more volunteers, definitely. Yeah. So. so now let's talk about the gala. So the gala is actually February 2nd. Yes. Um, and this is it's the Starry Night theme gala. Uh, what else can you tell us about? So it's the annual night for the arts. This okay. is our biggest fundraiser of the year mm -hmm. and so every year we have a theme and this year it's A Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. There's a lot of different activities. If you've never come to the gala it's always a really fun night. Uh, we have one comp component is that we do a celebrity artist okay. activity and so a local celebrity is paired with a local artist and they make a work of art and that artwork is auctioned off through a live auction. We didn't really talk about sort of the attire or whatever, what could, yep. yeah. So traditionally the annual night for the arts and we should talk a little bit also about what that funds but so we'll yeah. talk about the attire first. So it's always been a costume theme party and you can always dress up in costume and so this year's theme would be there's a couple ideas you could do you could dress up as vincent van gogh or another favorite artist of that time period you could dress up as one of van gogh's paintings you could dress up in cocktail attire there's really uh it's all your comfort level so if mm -hmm. you want to come in costume that is encouraged and loved and you will not be the only one <laughs> but if you feel more comfortable just in um a uh, cocktail attire, that's fine too. So it's not necessarily formal, but if you want to put on a formal dress, you certainly will feel comfortable doing that. If you want to just wear a cocktail attire, that's fine too. So this is the biggest fundraiser for us in the year, and um, it raised funds for our programs. So that includes things like our uh, after school art club, um, our new program, Palette, which is a creative engagement program for senior citizens. That's something that we developed just this last year. Yeah. Takes us into uh, senior care facilities right. and helps us use the arts to improve the lifestyle and quality of life for residents there. So. Those are the kinds of things we fund. Another thing that we're raising funds for is our scholarship program. So mm -hmm. all our youth education programs, uh, we provide scholarships for kids that might not financially be able to attend those because we want to make sure every kid has access to these programs re right. regardless of their income. So important things that are being funded. So you can, you can order the tickets online uh, yep. to reserve your seat. Um, and... Tickets are $75 a person, and then I also want to thank a few of our corporate tables. So oh, we have corporate sure, sure. tables. Yeah. We have Stearnswood, uh, yeah. Citizens Bank, Mitke, and New Journey are all signed on as corporate sponsors at this point. And it's oh, not great. too late to get your corporate seat, too. Our corporate tables are seating for eight, uh, a recognition at the event on our website and our annual newsletter on their annual report, as well as uh, this year we're doing a surprise uh, gift basket to yeah. each corporate sponsors before the event, so to help you get into the French-themed mood. Yeah. 
another new feature this year is we wanted to take uh, a moment to honor some of the important figures that have helped launch the Art Center. We're still a relatively new organization, and mm -hmm. one of those uh, people is Tom Wirtz. So Tom was uh, one of the initial founders of the mm -hmm. Art Center, and so this year we have created the annual Wirt Award. And so going forward, this will be an award that we give to uh, community members that are committed to arts and building community and advancing arts and culture in this area. And we wanted to uh, give the first year to Tom because, you know, he's really a, a key person in getting the Art Center launched in our innovative model of our partner group. So we wanted to give him the first year. And so going forward, there'll be new. Every year we'll recognize a new member of the community. Okay, so that is what's coming up for this month on, for the Center for the Arts. And if you have any qu questions, you can always contact us by phone or go to our website.